Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Who would have thought that after so many years with such advanced technology and development, we would worry and feel anxiety about the possibility of the outbreak of a new great world conflict. The thought of the Third World War, which seemed distant to some earlier, is now closer than ever. Father Chris Aller, the priest whose revelations awaken among faithful feelings of fear and urgency, spoke again about a possible Third World War and asked for many prayers for one particular nation. It happened because he received a vision from the Most Holy Virgin Mary, who revealed the name of the country responsible for the beginning of this war. This will be the beginning of something terrible, although he cannot reveal the entire content of the received message. If we combine the points of his previous revelations, we will discover many important and disturbing details. Father Chris Aller is a priest known for his prophetic visions. According to him, these visions are not ordinary feelings but direct messages from Mother Mary and other heavenly beings, which arouse both curiosity and fear, warning against future events that may radically change our world. Pay attention to the vision he received, I saw the vision of a black hunter symbolizing hunger, says Father Chris Aller. I heard a voice saying, you will have money, but you will not have bread. This means a global economic crisis in which money loses its value and basic resources such as food will become inaccessible. It will be a prelude to great chaos, with people fighting on the streets and governments introducing a state of war. This scenario of social chaos will be the spark for the outbreak of war. Many nuclear bombs will be intercepted by refusing the crown to the mercy of God in America. This intervention will be proof that faith and prayers of the faithful have real power. Moreover, there will be an event known as a warning. During this event, the sun, the moon, and the stars will stop shining, and everything will sink into complete darkness. On the sky will appear the sign of Jesus emanating with love and mercy. At this moment, each person on earth will look at his soul as never before, recognizing both his value for God and the evil present in him. It will be one of the greatest signs given to the world since the time of Jesus Christ's resurrection. After the warning, no one on earth will be able to deny the existence of God. Everyone will recognize Christ and the Catholic Church as his body. Humanity will receive an unprecedented gift, a period of six and one two weeks of conversion during which the evil spirit will have no power to influence people. During these weeks, each person will have the freedom to choose whether to stay with God or not, without the influence of evil. However, when the devil returns after this period, he will try to deceive people, making them believe that the warning was only a scientific illusion caused by the solar explosion. Father Chris Aller also mentions the necessity of transforming our homes into shelters. When the influence of evil returns, each person will have a small flame as a guide to a safe shelter. This shelter can be transformed into their own home or other designated places. The permanent shelters will have a well as a sign of their durability, and all the shelters will be connected with each other by the chosen messengers. These messengers, led by the Holy Spirit, will help in connecting the shelters and communicating what is happening. For three and a half years, the faithful will be in their shelters, sheltered from the external chaos. Although they will still feel pain and human suffering, they will be cured of the most severe diseases so as not to become a burden for others. During the urgent revelation, the Most Holy Mary passed the message to Father Chris Aller, which worried him very much. She said that she was sent by God with one of his chosen messengers to ask all faithful to recite the rosary during the novena until the 24th of July, praying for peace in the world. The Mother of God explained that on the 24th of July, she would give Padre Michael a new message. During this revelation, Father Chris Aller was extremely worried and asked the Mother of God, What happened, Holy Mother? What caused such great suffering? She replied that what will happen will be the Third World War and that, although the Novena's refusal can reduce the intensity of the upcoming events, it will not be able to stop them completely. But this is the most disturbing statement of Father Chris Aller, Mother of God showed me that France will be responsible for the call of conflict through the official declaration of war. I received visions regarding the consequences of this war, there will be a lot of pain and suffering. 
After that, Father Chris Aller was unable to continue the Mass and asked for the readings to be done in his place. He also said, This message moved me deeply to tears. I ask for this message to be passed on to all leaders of prayer groups and Catholic channels in France and other Spanish and English-speaking countries. The phenomena I received serve as a warning and a guide for the faithful. I remind you that despite the difficulties we will have to face, faith and prayer have a real and tangible power. Divine intervention, warning, and enlightening of the conscience are signs that God is with us even in the darkest moments. It is essential that we prepare both spiritually and physically for what is coming. Grace and preparation are our best weapons against the approaching evil. Good, my brothers. Since the request of our Mother from Heaven concerns prayer, I ask you to join me at this moment with great faith and whole heart in a short but fervent prayer. Dear Mother Most Holy, at this moment of deep anxiety, I come to you with a worried heart. The revelations of Father Chris Aller about the possible Third World War fill us with fear and uncertainty. In the face of all this, we seek your help. And dear Mother, you who appeared to Father Chris Aller asking for prayer for peace, we beg for your help. Lead us in the prayer of the Rosary so that our prayers reach the heart of God, bringing relief and hope for humanity. May the Novena we pray for reduce the intensity of future events and strengthen our faith. O oh Mary, you who are our loving mother, protect us and support us in these times of trials. We ask for your care for our families and homes. May they become stands of peace and prayer, leading our brothers and sisters in times of darkness. Stand behind us so that France, mentioned in the Revelations, was blessed with prosperity and peace. Let the nations of the world find the way of reconciliation and avoid the destruction of war. Help us trust in the infinite mercy of God and strive to return. Lord Jesus, you who revealed to us your infinite mercy, we ask for your protection. Let the warning and enlightening of the conscience be the signs of your constant presence among us. Strengthen our faith and help us live according to your will. Let us be the light for our brothers and sisters, leading them in times of darkness. Give us wisdom to prepare our hearts and our families for the upcoming challenges. We pray for your intervention so that we can be witnesses of God's mercy. Let our prayers and deeds reflect divine love and bring comfort and hope to the troubled hearts. In the face of difficulties, we trust in your care and protection, O Lady. Let us feel the presence of the loving God at every moment, knowing that we are not alone. Amen.